What's good, y'all? So I know I keep telling y'all over and over again that I have my video coming with me washing my dreads and everything, but like I work like 50 to 60 hours a week, full-time student, um, trying to get my MBA degree. I got two kids. So trying to record all these videos and everything is just, it gets hard sometimes. And I swear it's like I don't have 24 hours in a day. Turn it down, man. Come on, you mean extra. What you in here talking about now, man? I'm trying to explain to them how I'm not going to be showing them a video of me washing my hair because of everything I got going on during the week and there's not enough. Ain't nobody trying to hear all of that. Right, I understand that, but but nothing. You've been telling these people for weeks, probably a month, that you're going to show them the video. You told them to comment down on the thing, what they wanted to see. They said they want to see you wash your hair. No more excuses. Now, right now, but nothing. Let's go. I speak for the people. Ain't trying to hear in that Dynasty TV stuff. Gerard here now. All right, you know, all right. All right. Since you speak for the people, since he speak for y'all, I'm going to give you, I'm going to give him and y'all what y'all want to see. Let's go, man. That's more like it. All right. So I'm going to show y'all what I'm going to wash my hair with, the products I'll be using. So normally... I told y'all I just use this sulfate free moisturizing shampoo. It's not focusing on that. Oh, there we go. But you know, after doing some research, I see a lot of people they add like black um, castor oil or different stuff like that when they wash their hair. So I figured why not try it. So what I got, I got an empty water bottle. I'm gonna mix some of the shampoo in with. I don't have black castor oil. I got some cactus oil though. So I'm gonna put some of that in there. And then some drops of the, some drops of this wild growth hair oil. I was using back when I was growing my hair, before I even got dreads. I put some of this in my hair and that kind of helped grow my hair. I think it did. I'm gonna add some drops of this in there with it. Just not a lot, cause I don't want it too oily, but maybe like five or six drops, we'll see. Let me get to it. Now it's my first time doing this. So hopefully it turn out good and it don't turn out looking all crazy. Well, y'all don't need to see me put it in there. All right, so I got like about that much. Just pour that in. You know, I just thought about how am I gonna get this out? See how slow that pour? <sighs> Dang. All right, so. Uh, okay, this is what we're gonna do. <laughs> we're gonna put this back on here. And I'm just gonna squeeze some into my hand and then squeeze a couple drops of this in my hand and like one drop, two drops or three drops of this in my hand and then just wash my hair that way. Can't believe I just, look at all this. I just am wasted in this bottle, man. I'm trying to improvise. Dang. So right now I'm about to have Sherelle hold the camera for me. So I'm gonna show y'all how I get up in these roots. Another thing too, I know I used to say that I, don't, I ain't have build up and everything like that and I don't, I don't think this is build up. I think it's more like dry scalp. I think the build up kind of comes from products in your hair building up. I guess that's where the word build up came from or the word, the phrase build up. I just kind of have like some dry scalp, but that's expected when I haven't had my hair washed in six weeks. That's the last time I had a retwist was like six weeks to eight weeks ago. I can't remember if I washed my hair after I had a retwist or not. I don't know. Either way, I know it's been about a month since I washed my hair. So it's time to get up in there. And I know my hair's not long enough for me to like smell it to see if it has like that hair smell, that sweaty outside hair smell. So what I do is. Well, it's not like you'd be all up in my hair smelling it. So I just put a do rag on every night, as y'all know. And then I smell the do rag to see. <laughs> that sounds gross. I just smell the do rag to see if it smells or not so i'm still good but it's just time to wash it because my my scalp is dry uh you ready all right let's do it so i just got warm water running wet my hair first get it all in there nice and wet some of the shampoo i'm gonna add a couple drops of this oil i add like two drops of the wild growth 
a dab will do you. And get in there real good. Don't be afraid to scratch. Get in there. Shampoo don't wet up my damn eye. <laughs> damn, damn. <laughs> Add some more shampoo. You want to you want to get it real nice and lively. And there you go. Yeah. Get in there real good. Then go ahead and rinse. I like to wash mine twice. Some more shampoo. A little bit more oil. A couple more drops of this. And I mean, I can't see it how like my lactation sees it when she washes my hair. So I'm pretty much just going section by section on my head, getting to the roots real good, scratching. And then rinse it out. Make sure you rinse it out real good. That's one thing you don't want is shampoo, conditioner, anything stuck in your locks. Grab it like this. That, hey, if you ain't got this much to grab, just go ahead and grab, skip straight to the towel. Or drain here. I just grip it like this, get the extra water. It's gonna drip. Water off. Grab the towel. Ugh. Whew. Oh. For like a new May, I don't have a dryer to sit in a dryer or nothing like that. So I just towel dry mine as best as I can and then let it air dry. Whew. I guess Man. you could say, am I am I semi-free forming? I guess. Well, not really, because I don't know how long people who semi-free form go without getting a retwist. I'm just like I said in a like four videos ago, I only got 79 dreads, so I'm terrified of one falling out. That's why I'm not getting a retwist every month like I first did when I first started my journey. This right here is two months with no retwist. So I'm when I get a retwist, it'll be four months. My dress looking pretty good though. I think. What y'all think? What do you think, bro? It look good? Oh my bad, she eating. Hair is mostly dry, a little damp. What I like to do is add a little oil. I've showed y'all this before. So, I don't know, about as much to fit in your palm. And it just depends on your hair. You know, just use as much as you think is necessary. Rub it in, and then I just like to get on my roots and my scalp. Real good. Just separate it to I need more, so it depends on your hair, how thick your hair is, how much you need, how many dreads you got. If you got a full head of dreads, you definitely gonna want to use more than this. So just keep rubbing in, going like this, and you're good to go. You doing shining, ain't it? Yeah. <laughs> Another thing you gotta be cautious about with not getting retwists is congoing. And some people might want their hair to congo, I don't. So I'll be like pulling them joints apart. I want every dread to be separate. Yeah. That's it. All right, so real quick before I get out of here. I didn't give y'all 360. I haven't given y'all 360 in a while, so let's see. Boom.
know y'all want it. Smash that like button for me. Subscribe if you haven't. Excuse me. And gone.